Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome in the boat. We are going to take a tour, make a tour for about 30 minutes. And I also have local people in the boat, so I'm going to talk a little bit local dialects also. If you hear something strange, it's not Swedish or Danish, it's local dialect. Beautiful building behind the bridge of the right. A palace built in the 15th century. It's for visit nowadays, the museum for antiques. Have a look on top of the building on the right. Het Grutische Paleis aan de rechterkant, genoemd naar het Grut. Daar wordt een feite kruiden dat ze met bier deden vroeger. Was er nog geen hoppen gebruikt in bier. En de heer van Grutische zijn stinkend rijk geworden met de Grut. Ze hadden de monopolie. En ze zijn zelfs oorlogen gewest omwille van de Grut. Dat ze en de bruin bijvoorbeeld en de bruilingen dat gewonnen. Have a look on the right, a beautiful view on the Church of Our Lady, where you can go if you want to see the famous Madonna sculpture made by Michelangelo. The Madonna from Michelangelo is one of the three sculptures that are not in Italy anymore. The two others are in Paris at the Louvre. Very tiny houses on the left side here, they were built for the working class people, 18th, 19th century. The big building behind the bridge has been one of the oldest hospitals in Europe until we stopped using it in 1976. It started in the 12th century, St. John's Hospital here on the right. Normally it's full visited, but it's closed now because of renovations. Vele moest je niet verwachten van de zieken, dus in feite in de middeleeuwen. Het was voor iedereen dezelfde menu. Dat je ziek wordt, wie in de aderlating gedaan met bloedzuigers. Welkom in de middeleeuwen. we have to go under one of the lowest bridges. I think it would be better not to stand up right now. Have a look, it's extremely low, the next bridge. And I even think that I uh, need a little bit more weight in the front of the boat. There is too much weight in the back of the boat, which means that the front side is too high for the bridge. So if it's possible to move a little bit more to the front, please. Thank you for the cooperation. Okay, I think we'll manage now. <laughs> he did it. <coughs> In the Middle Ages we had more than 400 breweries for 40,000 people. Now there are only two. And this is the oldest one here on the left side. They are making beer already more than 500 years here. I think they know what they are doing. Brugse Zot and Straffe Hendrik, that's in the beaches, that's here brown, that's in the halve maan, the brownerij on the right kant. And that's Beginov on the right kant. This is the Beginage on the right. A very beautiful convent from the 13th century. Beautiful, peaceful place to visit. And this is a little bit the private beach for the swans of Bruges, and they really have a good life as you can see. And also the beach for the ducks, better known as number 78. I know them from the Chinese menu. Number 78, I...
sometimes we have com have to control the water level on the canals when it rains a lot or sometimes or when it didn't rain anymore we have to put extra water in the canals that's why we have locks everywhere like here the locks under the house and behind the house is a beautiful small lake the lake of love When you walk in the streets of Bruges, everywhere you look you will find many Madonna sculptures like the two Madonnas at the end of the red building on the right and the Madonna on the house. That's already three, but there are 320 and they are all different. 320 different Madonnas. That's why people call Bruges sometimes the Madonna city or the Maria city. Al die Maria beeldjes zijn in feite vernietigd geweest door de Franse tijdens de beeldenstorm en toen zijn de 19e eeuw allemaal nieuwe teruggezet. When you visit the brewery, you can also visit the beer museum. Have a look on the left side here, it's baby time for the swans. Oh, yes. And mind your heads again at the low bridge in about five seconds. Madonna's everywhere, but you can also see churches everywhere. This is our cathedral, it's 800 years old. The church of our lady was built 100 years later. <laughs> Het schiet is er ook een keer in de jaren 50 een klein vliegtuigje tegen de top van de onze lieve vrouw kerken vloog tot in de ten of van de kerken beland in de jaren 50. Nou dat zijn, en mijn collega hebben dat verteld. When you look to the left here you can see the typical Gothic style windows. All the big old buildings here in Bruges are built in Gothic style, which makes Bruges a You can still find Madonnas like here on the right, the little Madonna. Aww. When the weather is nice, I always see the people having dinner on the terrace here in the sunshine. Sometimes you see houses with wooden facades like here on the right, but they are not very old. Most of them are from the 19th century. And I will show you the smallest window of the city now. It's also a gothic style window. Follow my finger. Against the base of you on the stops. What a beautiful view you have when you're sitting on the toilet behind the window. I took a kind of the mooie water spurs links van boven. The bridge are three different bridges here. They were built in different centuries. You can see the difference when you look above you the 17th, the 16th, the 15th century bridge in the Stalactites. The 
hier een beetje verder aan de linkerkant in de goede orangerie weer de, weer de, de tropische planten door is de Winterman. So important buildings on the right, the big blue door, this is our painting museum, the big white building, the College of Europe, when you already did university, and after you paid 15,000 euros, then you can come here for one year to specialize in Europe. Then you can go to work at the European Parliament. <laughs> The Yellow Hotel on the right has very special old crystal glass in the windows and you can see that. It's purple but when you look from the inside to the outside then it's pure white. Special old crystal. And the Tweede Brouwerie van Brugge, that's here on the linkerkant met terrasje. Hier voor ons ligt het huidenvettersplein of lederlooiersplein, hoe dat ze het leder bewerkten. De vissenmarkt ligt er juist achterop. En kijk je naar die schone schoorstenen van Stadis. En we look at the beautiful chimneys from the city hall in the background. We have one of the oldest city halls in Northern Europe. I will slow down a little bit. If you want, you can take a beautiful picture here from the belfry, the bell tower. You can see that the tower is not standing straight up, it goes to the right. This is the back of the city hall on the left side. On the other side, on the facade, it's full of statues. They are all important people from the past. Local people from the past. The old palace of justice that we used until the 1970s. And also for Pietjes de Sibarais, the Groene Madame, die dan hier ligt als een beeldje van Permeke, onze bekende Franse beeldhouwer. A modern sculpture on the left side, but it's a very tragic story. The lady is looking for her two children, but she will never find them again because they drowned in a river. But she keeps on looking. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So, 1992, one of the 43 bridges. The canals in Bruges have a total length of 16 kilometers, 10 miles. And they are about 2 meters deep, 6.5 there's a lot of fish living in the water and unfortunately also a lot of bicycles. That was the Meebrug, the Oudste Brug, and we have now uh, Meebrug, a little bit of a green branch, that was here the Paardenbrug, that was here the Pierdenbrug. Here came the Paardenbrug, that was here on the other end of the A small tea house on the left side. De eerste bruggetje ooit dat ze gebouwd en hier en bruggen, dat was hier hoe dat je de volgende brug ziet. En dat was in die titel ook de hoofdstraten van de stad. De bonen die toen in de smidde liepen. En vooral op de left side, je kunt zien de small sculpture on the house. De bear, en dat is de symbool van Bruges, de symbool voor de strength of the city. 
這個是整個布日的代表 It's very easy to say which are the oldest houses here because they have the typical step gables. They started to build houses in bricks since the 15th century when building new houses in wood have, has been forbidden because of the danger for fire. So until the 15th century there were only wooden houses here. De meeste verhuringen worden dan, dat was in 70 jaar zijn geboren hier dan in de Toede Moeder is aan de rechterkant, maar dat is nu een psychiatrische kliniek geworden. De black steel bars that you see everywhere, they need to be there because they keep the whole construction together. We call it the wall anchors. the bridge but the canal also continues to the right behind the bridge this was the connection with the sea harbor in the days that we were one of the biggest harbors in Europe the 13th the 14th and the 15th century every day about 50 big sail ships arrive here that's more than 15,000 every year and they came from all over the world even from Russia that's where we bought leather and special kinds of wood In dit titel wordt dan nu het stadje dan maar echt zo'n 5, 6 kilometer van hier. Dat was onze haven, dus in dit. Hier kun je vijf verschillende centuries naast elkaar zien, vijf verschillende stijlen. The building met de tower in de achtergrond was de meeting place voor de businessman en Right behind it was the red lights district. The Rosse Buurt lag dus achter een dag gewoon met de toren. En ook het uh, Buurtspring nog altijd, waar de familie van de Buurze vanaf de 12e eeuw een herberg hadden, waar dat in de diepe transacties hier gedaan. En dus ook de familie van de Buurze, die tonen de naam en waar dan later de Buurze is geworden. Weet, big mistake in the 1980s. One of the best painters who ever lived in Bruges is standing there, the green man. His name was Jan van Eyck. Interessant voor te weten is dat Jan van Eyck een van de eerste schilders was ter wereld die ze schilderijen is bij hem verven in olieverf. En hij doet de olieverf uit een perfectioneren. An interesting item next to the statue, you see the thing in white, it looks a bit like a periscope from a submarine. When you look through the periscope, you can see how all this looked like hundreds of years ago. It's quite interesting. Stop hier nu, maar vroeger liep dat uren toe uh, links van de gebouw toe dan de markt in de Kodat. In de plaatsen van Provinciegebouw, de waterhalen waren, waar er ook bootjes weer geladen en gelost. 